As the founder and chief executive officer of one of America's premier family-run, privately owned chains, Craig Culver knows a thing or two about meeting the challenges of the restaurant industry head on. Culver is known far and wide as the home of the Butter Burger and its craveable frozen custard is a favorite with its legions of fans in 18 states. I'm Ellen Kodiff, Editor-in-Chief of Food Channel Pro, and I am happy to bring you a behind-the-scenes look at this highly respected entrepreneur. Let's find out what makes Craig Culver one of our leaders with guts. Craig, can you talk a little bit about your core customer and your day parts and how your company breaks out in system-wide sales? Yeah, we, we, you know, we refer to our customers as our guests, much like uh, we refer to our, our employees as our team members. It's interesting you ask that question because we just today we were talking about that and, and, and yesterday as well. Um, we think it's a male, uh, maybe 35 years of age or so. Hmm. We used to think it was the ladies, but we think now it might be more the, the gentleman. Uh, but, you know, our spread is from young to old. It really is. Uh, I think we do a very good job with seniors, getting seniors into our restaurants. Uh, we always have, as a matter of fact. And uh, Last year at our convention, I was, I was talking just about this, and I thought we needed to go after the young. We got to go after the young, and we got we to, gotta, again, go back after the seniors and bring them more into our restaurants. Um, so, it, you know, in actuality, our customer is the youngster to the oldster, is what it is. Unusual, mm -hmm. different than, than most chains out there, as a matter of fact. Uh, Taco Bell, you know, they're probably that mm -hmm. 16 to 20 year old or something like that. Yeah. Ours is a much wider range. And we have a great following of people, uh, and some may say cult-like, uh, as a matter of fact. But uh, um, we just want to get more of them into our restaurants is what we want, we want to do, and then culverize them when we got them there. <laughs> you won, your chain won, the Beef Packer Award from the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Do you know why they cited you for that award? They must think we serve a great product, beef. Uh, I mean, we're mm. a great partner uh, with beef, uh, with the beef folks, uh, with the dairy folks as well, with, with uh, um, the whole egg industry we're, we're a great partner with. Uh, but you know, all of our beef is, it's all American beef. Uh, most of it comes from right around Omaha. And um, we love great American beef, we do. And they are, have been good partners with us. I, I look at, you know, the egg industry, not only are they important suppliers of, of ours, I need them to make money, I do. There are neighbors and there are customers in our restaurants as well. And I mm -hmm. need them to be healthy. So yeah. very, very important. And can you talk a little bit about Culver's Grill Master Championship? Mm -hmm. This will be the fourth, third year, I believe, for our Grill Master. It's, uh, and it's something that uh, is, is starting right now. And, you know, we're right now, it's, it's July as we're speaking. And the preliminaries are going to be started shortly in, their, in each one of the restaurants. And then they, they move to a, a regional area and then to the sectionals and, and then finally to the finals wherever our convention is. And this year it's in February in, in Nashville at uh, the Gaylord in, in Nashville. It's a cool event mm -hmm. where eight teams will come together at the nationals and compete against one another. And then the, the top four places get paid. Of course, we pay the wait for all the teams to come there as well, but it's a neat thing. And, and then we have stands set up right there where the kid, kids are all competing, or not necessarily kids, and people are cheering and yelling for their team, and it's, it's something pretty special, it really is. Yeah, I know you do training in your new headquarters for Serve Safe with your team members, yes. and they come in from all over the country. H how has that evolved with your chain? How, how do you work with Serve Safe? Oh, I mean, we have come so far from from days, you know, years ago. I mean, I've got my own teachers on, on staff and they are so passionate about mm -hmm. food safety. Um, I, I, I find that very, very interesting. Um, and I don't always observe all the rules. They let me know when I'm not observing the rules. You know, I'm a little old school and, and with some of that, but 
our, our people are very passionate about it. And in the restaurants as well, they are very passionate about it. Um, you know, we run around with clipboards in the morning, taking temperatures of everything. We have paper trails of everything. Uh, I never imagined that stuff, you know, years ago. It's just, let's turn on the grill and let's get going. It isn't quite like that anymore. It's a, it's, mm -hmm. it's a, not a clipboard mentality, uh, but it certainly is a system in place that's working very well for us. Can you talk a little bit about your average sales and, you know, the, the volume of your company and your strong, what, how you break out in the day parts? Yeah, we're, uh, um, our, our average unit sales has dropped a little bit. Uh, I think we're at 1.63 is where we are. That's million. Hmm. Uh, our day parts are somewhat equal. Um, our our lunch is a little bit larger than, than the, uh, the dinner hour, but our dinner hour is still extremely strong, and that's what you don't find a lot in QSRs. Right. We have strong dinner hours. As well, uh, the custard helps fill in the gaps as well. Custard rushes at night, you know, from eight to close, can be as busy as any part of the day. And, you know, that happens mostly in the summer months where people are going out for that treat uh, mm -hmm. uh, after after dinner and stuff. And that, that's, a, that's a pretty neat thing as well. How, how often do you eat the custard? Oh, I don't, you know, I'm, I don't have a real sweet tooth, uh, but I burgers and fries. <laughs> I, just get, I just had a burger and fry today, okay? Um, I don't eat custard every day. I, I may have it once a week or something like that. I love this stuff, I do. And... Uh, you know, the reason we have custard in, the, in, in our restaurants to begin with is because I, I, this ice cream was so special, so, mm -hmm. so velvety smooth and, and uh, neat that that's what I wanted to build this business on. But I don't eat it every day just because I don't have that, uh, that sweet tooth. And how do you, did you formulate the customer service program at Culver's? Because I know that's crucial to the success of your business. Well, that's a piece of the culture of Culver's, I believe, and it's, it's part of our training. Um, and it's who we are. I, you know, I, I said it's a part of our culture because, you know, if you don't have a good heart, you're not going to be good at customer service because you just don't care. We got to bring people into our organization that have the good hearts to begin with. And we can build on somebody with a good heart. We can teach them just about to do everything. But I can't necessarily teach them they have a great heart. That yeah. I can't necessarily teach. No, you can't. I can be an example, and maybe they, we can change them, as I said earlier, but uh, I can't necessarily teach them to have a great heart. So we got to invite those people into our place. Something I tell my managers and, and franchisees, positive attracts positive in the people world. And that's what we have to be as leaders. We have to be positive, and we'll attract more positive people. And what about um, your ideal supplier? And who, who, how would you describe your ideal supplier and what kind of relationships are Somebody those? that sells a great product at really low prices. <laughs> <laughs> no, again, I'll, I'll, I'll say uh, this. Uh, they've got to make money and we've got to make money. It's got to, it's got to be that type of partnership. Um, I'm, I'm, there's no way I'm going to throw a supplier under the bus or anything like that. Like, like I said, uh, we've got to be fair to each other and we both got to both have to uh, uh, make money off what we're doing. That's good partnerships. And you've had a lot of them for your whole 26 years? We've had a lot of uh, great partners and a lot of loyal partners and partners that have been with us for a long, long time. And I think that's important. Just like team members. Mm -hmm. you know, we've got a lot of team members that have been with us a long, long time. And that's how you build a positive culture about your place as well. Did you ever get any great ideas from your suppliers? Oh, absolutely. Um, but we don't give them credit for it at all. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, you know, on the food end, certainly. And actually on the technology side, yeah, just in every mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. uh, building, our restaurants, uh, you name it. Yeah, great ideas have come from our suppliers along the way. We've been talking with Craig Culver of Culver's, home of the Butter Burger and Frozen Custard. Check out the next part of the series as we explore what it takes to be a leader with guts. For Food Channel Pro, I'm Ellen Kodiff.